Hey there everybody, this is Lee with Creative Two Time Mom and I want to share with you one of the games that we are using in our science right now. So I have a fifth grader and a second slash third grader and we have been doing a ton of human body science this spring. It was one of the fifth grade standards and I found a way to be able to adapt it for my younger student and we're having a great time. We've gone through the circulatory system, the respiratory system, the urinary system, a little bit of the skeletal, uh, the nervous system. We're just having so much fun with it was really surprised how into it they actually got. But I was trying to find a way to really help them retain some of the information. They were enjoying it, but it can be really overwhelming once you start thinking about everything that's going on in your body. So I went to our charter school. <laughs> My little guy's playing over here. I went to our charter school and I started looking through their cabinets of stuff and we came across this game called Some Body. And it's a trivia game. It's actually five games in one. We have only explored the first two games. So let me show you what's in here. It's for four players. Everybody gets a human body. Everybody gets a sheet of these clean stickers. And then we have only played the game with the trivia questions, but there is also a muscular game for older kids. We didn't go into the muscular system very much. Those are on orange cards. And then the trivia game that we have been playing is on the yellow cards. So you start out with a human body, right? The first time we played this, we just went through the cards and learned the information. Some of it we knew from previous unit studies. Some of it we didn't. We did not study the gallbladder. And so I was like, I have no idea what that does. The pancreas, I have no idea what that does. So the first time, one, maybe two times that we played, we just went through the trivia cards, kind of just had fun building the human body. After that, that's when it got a little competitive. <laughs> so you take the cards, the person next to you reads you the trivia card. This one is, what body part cleans your blood of waste and extra water? If you can answer it, you get the body part. If you cannot, we have been sharing the answer so that we can learn the information, or you can just stick it back in the pile and move on to the next person. If you can answer it, you get to add your kidneys. Now here's the trick. There is a separate chart in this game as well that tells you the order that they want you to add the parts in. So if I don't have my stomach, which is number 13, I cannot add my gallbladder, which is number 14. You can still have the body part, but you have to put it along the side of your person until you get the part that comes before it. So you're building your human body. We've had so much fun with this. Me and my two students, and even my little guy, have been playing this quite a bit, and then we broke it out the other night. I, we were just gonna do like a family game night. And I was thinking they would go out in the garage and get like Yahtzee or something. But my older kids actually went out in the garage and grabbed this to play. And we took my four-year-old and told him he could play on a team with mommy or daddy. And he actually knew a good handful of the questions. So this has been a great one. It goes through the major stuff. Uh, all the digestive system is here. Part of the urinary system is here. Part of the circulatory, part of the respiratory, your brain, your major um, senses. So eyes, ears, nose, mouth. They're all included. Pancreas, like I said, I was 36 years old, never knew what my pancreas was for. I know now. So this has just been a fun game. It's been a great way for us to retain some information. If you get a chance to pick this up and you're studying the human body, definitely do it. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to learn it all. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye-bye.